like that one when it's yellow. Yeah. It triggered, but it's zero percent. And that average have to be between ten and sixty uh, percent. Um, yeah. Well, actually, up to ninety is fine. Okay. Ninety is 90. fine. Okay. Yeah. So we can. Um, we'll turn off the green one because it's kind of out of sequence. But so if we look at the average, again, we have those nice, beautiful ten-foot echoes. You know, not ten point one three. This one, if I can click there, 10.13. So really nice, pretty echoes that are very different than, than the three pound hammer. We also have, I think, yeah, I wonder if it got shipped somewhere. We have a one pound instrumented hammer that works really nicely on this log too. But this kind of showing you some different ideas. Now, let me show you a different setup scenario. This is, uh, we're gonna show the side mount, typical side mount block. Okay. that we make. So it's designed for a couple of different uh, scenarios. One is a um, mounting on concrete, and the other is mounting on timber. Okay. So that, you know, if you're mounting on timber, you can bolt it to okay. the, with a next to side. So that way you have a flat surface to... Well, because what you line. need, right, there's two ways you can do this. You can either put the accelerometer right on the block with mm -hmm. grease, but the way this is designed is you can unscrew the base from the accelerometer mm -hmm. and um, well, this one has this, let me unscrew this stud <laughs> and it's threaded to accept the accelerometer directly okay. so you can just mount right to it then what we do is we grease mount the accelerometer right to the side of the shaft. And it's really, really important that you use enough grease, first of all. Let me get somebody clean my grease off. I had a nice little grease pile there and somebody cleaned it the other day because they wanted the shaft to look prettier. I was like, no! <laughs> so it's really important to use enough grease that it squishes out. It's also really important to squish the grease out so that you're mounting solidly to the, to the timber. So let me show you what happens. So this is grease mounted, but not very solidly, okay? So we'll hit start, and I'm gonna do, let me get some paper towels before I type in test four for me. I don't wanna mess up your laptop. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Okay, really weak. Reject, let me hit it harder. Weak, mushy, just not much of a, we're just not getting much signal. You know, it doesn't, it just doesn't work well with any of the, um, you know, when you side mount. But if I take that same thing and squish it down really hard so that it's more firmly mounted, okay. then we're suddenly getting nice records again. Right. Right. Pretty echoes, everything's pretty. So it's really important to side mount, when you side mount, to really grind it down so that the steel, the metal itself, the block is in good contact with the wood. Okay. You don't want the block riding on a film of grease because it'll just, it's, you know, it's kind of independent. The wave just, energy just goes right past it. It doesn't right. couple. Into, right. this, into the metal, into the accelerometer. So if you grind it in there, then, so that it, when you touch it, it doesn't move. You know, then you can get that uh, nice high frequency. It's not as pretty as end mounting. Right. You know, it's never, side mounting is never gonna be as good as end mounting. If you can mount on the top of the shaft, you're always better off. Right. But if you need to side mount, just make sure it's really tight. And that's why the lag bolt can be nice, you know, to, to just hold it in place. It, then it just bolts it down tight and you are coupled. Right. The other thing that we have used is um, you can use uh, that block is on concrete. You can use Hilti anchors or redheads, you know. So we've used bolts and anchors. Mm -hmm. 
But it, this goes right through. This is designed to go through. Yes. Do, do you just drill into it? Yeah. yeah. And then right. And then this goes. You set it in place with the setting tool. And in fact, I think we have a couple on our cylinder over there okay. that, that we've played with. But so that's the other, and that's really, really solid, but it takes more time. Right. You know, so it's not usually done, but we have done it in certain specialized situations. 